We got this Wrestler 4x4 VXL for a hundred bucks on OfferUp. But as you can see, it's a bit of work. I think we got all the parts we need, but we'll find out. Was this a good deal or did I just start the ultimate project? Stay tuned to find out. Family I see. Welcome to the family. <laughs> now let me know if you would have taken this deal. We have, it came with a charger, which is kind of like super dirty and it's missing screws, which I didn't know at first. Cause I actually had someone go and pick this up for me. Initially the whole bundle was 200 bucks and I started asking questions. He lowered it to 125 and then he shows up and he says there's no battery. And then he's like, you can take the whole thing for a hundred bucks. At that point, it's kind of like, it feels like a no brainer, right? Uh, I have plugged this in. Um, and it actually powered up. I haven't tried to charge a battery on it yet, but it did power up. It's kind of concerning because it came with this makeshift ad adapter. Obviously they, I mean, had a death wish or something. I don't know. Anyway, it comes with the TQI transmitter. Looking like it's seen some better days, but maybe we can clean that up. But it is TQI, which there's a reason why I mentioned that. Now the body, let's see. Can I get that off there? There we go. Body actually isn't half bad. I mean, besides being dirty, yes, it does have a couple splits, a little bit of wear. A lot of times the bodies are just worn off in the back and all folded up, especially on wrestlers. So overall, this isn't bad. Maybe I can uh, clean, take some of these, you know, clean it up, take some of this stuff off of it. But here's where things get interesting, right? So obviously, make sure I'm in the frame here. Uh, the front end. They mentioned the front end was messed up. It said it needed a couple of steering components, but they didn't cover all of this in detail. It's literally missing half the drive shaft. The A arm is cracked and been re glued and cracked again. It's missing a turnbuckle, a steering block, and a caster block. And you'll notice uh, well, I took the drive shaft off because I took this front off to see if I can notice any other damage. Um, You'll also notice that the steering or the receiver box is completely gone. And like I mentioned, the controller is TQI, but the receiver is TQ, which you know that's not how it comes when you buy it out the box. So yeah, I wonder what happened. I don't even know what how they got to this point. I have powered up the electronics and they do work. The back end seems to be fully intact. Um, except for, uh, they got a Phillips head here, but the only thing is there seems to be rust in some spots. It's hard to guess the integrity of the drive shafts. They look like they're still pretty good. And like I mentioned, there's some rust and more screws and stuff like that. So that's a little concerning, but this all sounded good. And like I said, uh, the electronics work good. I can't really speak on the servo. It, um, but it did turn and respond, but I can't say if it's got, if it's stripped out or not, cause all this was kind of willy nilly. Um, and the other red flag, if you will, is there's a bunch of missing screws. So they definitely tried to fix it themselves and maybe didn't know what they're doing. I don't know. Would you buy this for a hundred bucks? Let me know in the comments down below. I almost forgot to mention one of the tires are split too. Again, would you have made this purchase for a hundred bucks comment down below now you'd think we'd only be putting on a couple of pieces but there's quite a few little upgrades we're gonna do oh yeah if you're wondering what this is if you know you know if you don't stay tuned and find out <coughs> this is i believe the steering this is the uh, carrier for the rear this is a uh, also the steering um, assembly uh, we've got metal hexes but I believe there's a blue set too so I got to pick which ones I'm gonna put on and then we have shocks oh the casters um, I gotta ask my father-in-law special permission for this because we bought this for the rally but I want to put it on the wrestler so we'll see if he says it's okay then we got steel drive shafts. The reviews on these, when you look them up, are just all right, because most people have a problem with the, the spring coming off. 
So I have an idea that might be able to fix that. If not, we might have to go buy some of the uh, Traxxas ones or the Max Duty ones. And then we have aluminum arms, front and rear. And we also have um, turnbuckles, front, rear as well. And then also these ones are the other drive shafts. I'm not sure which ones are front, which ones are rear, but I'm sure you can tell by looking at it. And we also have the shock towers. Now I know what you're thinking. Why go all metal? Usually you end up causing more damage, but I have had pretty good luck. I bought this Rustler two-wheel drive already souped up or upgraded and bashed the crap out of it. And this thing is powerful. It can do backflips and stuff. And it hits, I, it gets so fast, it's uncontrollable. I've crashed it like crazy and nothing's broke. The only thing I could say was annoying was the screws will back out if you don't lock tight them. Um, however, if I have bad luck with all these aluminum parts on my four wheel drive rustler, I'll go and get the RPM plastic ones to put on there to replace it. But I don't think I'll have any problems with these. A lot of people upgrade the shock towers to the aluminum ones, so we'll see. If all this pretty much goes to crap, then I'll just get the the extreme heavy duty kit and throw it on there later on but for now we went this route because they had a big package deal going on i think i mentioned the shocks if not there we go i had a rustler before Rustler is like one of my favorite cars but i've always had to sell it due to uh, money issues at the time but it's still one of my favorite cars and i finally got one and i'm gonna keep it uh, also um one of the wrestlers i had in the past had a um, I think it was a green one. I'm not quite sure, but it had the big bumper. So I went with the big bumper because that's another thing that was missing that I forgot to mention. Also, we had the receiver box. So that's good. And then I believe these go to with the casters and the steering hub and the uh, carrier. So bearings. I'm not sure. These don't seem like they're the best. Maybe I'll throw some fast eddies in the future. I don't know. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right let's get started so the first thing to do is take off the front end and the back end and they make these modular so it's four screws front and back but since it's missing screws it's going to be even easier than that <laughs> um and then we'll start cleaning up everything and go from there all right so we got everything removed uh we got the uh, power system we got the servo over there this is the front end that I'm going to disassemble and clean. The rear end we're going to disassemble, clean, and rebuild just like the front. Here's the chassis. I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to cook it. And stay tuned to figure out what that means. And then here's some of the motor mount, motor mount and then um, battery tie down. And they actually had this geared up pretty high. They come stock uh, with a 54. This one has a 50. And I'm not sure what the pinion is. I think it's like an 11 or something like that. And this came with a 17 pinion. Um, so it's geared to go over 60 the way it sits. But I'm afraid it'll overheat. Especially with the, the extra weight of all the aluminum parts we're about to throw on there. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I may just keep this on there to see how it does. And then gear it back down or up in a sense. when I By throwing that 54 tooth metal. Uh, Gear on there that looks like that is super tight. You're supposed to back that down off of the full turn after you tighten it up. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. When you don't know what you're doing, I guess. But yeah, there we go. Got it all cleaned up, detailed it about as good as I feel like getting it. Now, let's go cook it. Well, it came out pretty good. I figured since I'd never done it before and I wanted to, why not? It only costs like three or four bucks for the uh, die. And uh, you can get it at Target or probably Walmart. But I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get it on Amazon too. So, but yeah, it went pretty good. Now, 
it's time to break down this and uh, rebuild it. Well, clean it and rebuild it. Uh, so, as of editing this video and putting all the footage together, I realized this is going to be a little bit bigger project than I anticipated. I mean, just the editing process alone. So, we're going to have to make this at least two parts, because otherwise, this would be almost a full-length movie. But it's exciting, it's fun, and we got a bunch of new parts that I didn't get to tell you about, and they're going into the build. And let me tell you, it is looking good. In this video, we covered the, the what the deal was. Um, everything is included and basically overall what we wanted to do with it. So in the next video, we're gonna go, we're going to be putting it, cleaning it and putting it all together. It's gonna be awesome. Make sure you check it out. And comment down below, if you, would you have taken on this deal? Even if you aren't gonna rebuild it like I am and just bought the parts needed, would you have taken that deal? And thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe. You are family. If you are, see your family. So subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in part two of this coming up soon. Peace out.